Hello gorgeous Gemini and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at your week ahead. Guidance for Gemini please spirit. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a symbol or an image on one of the cards or a message perhaps that really stands out to you. Take notice of this because it is a message the spirit wants you to hear right now. Let's take a look at your first card, the golden orb spider. And the key words are messenger, balance, awareness, and design. So there is some kind of message coming your way, which is of utmost importance this week, Gemini. I feel that there's going to be a revealing to you, an unveiling to you, an energy here that I'm feeling of you being awakened to something very, very important. So there is a very important reveal. This may come through another person, a conversation perhaps, a synchronistic event, circumstance that takes place. It may come through other means. It's going to be different for everybody how this comes about. I feel that this bit of information or this reveal, whatever it is for you, you're going to see how things connect, how the bigger picture is going to come about. So very important news, message, shocking reveal, something that will be surprising, but very, very important. It is going to bring some kind of balance into your life. You might also be feeling this week that you're wanting to come into balance with your in your life in some way. Your work life, your home life, your relationships and your own personal space, your own personal time. Putting all these things into balance is really important and I feel this is going to come up and be highlighted for you this week. So we have awareness here. I feel that it's tying into this message, this reveal and design. So you may be actually designing something. You may be a creator in some respect. You may be designing something very practical or you may be redesigning your own life in some powerful way. So I love this energy for you. I do see that there is a change that's coming very soon. We have 32, which is five numerologically. And this indicates change and things that are not going to stay the same, even if they seem like they're not going to change. They are in fact in flux and things will not stay the same. So there may be some shifts that happen this week in an area of your life. Let's take a look at this deck of cards for Gemini. Guidance for Gemini, please, spirit. Guidance for Gemini, this one here. And I also feel this one here wants to come out for you. So let's take that one as well. What a beautiful card to receive. It's the card of joy, bringing more joy into your life, into a situation. Actually having an, an awareness and a vibration of joy is going to be a marvelous thing for you this week. And it says on this card, joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. So you'll be able to manifest, you'll be able to create in a heightened way, in a more powerful way, if you're in the vibration of joy. So allow this energy into your life in some, at least in some small way this week, Gemini. Something that brings joy into your life. There is nothing to worry about. What have you been worried about, Gemini? There's something here that's been on your mind. Something's been stressing you out. Spirit is saying most definitely with this card, there is nothing to worry about. You are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. 
only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Wow, what a beautiful message and an important message I feel for some. Let's take a look at this deck of cards for Gemini, please spirit, guidance for Gemini. This one here. There is financial assistance that, that is on the way for you, Gemini. Archangel Micah requests that you allow him to chimney sweep your worries, anxieties and fears about money. Perhaps this card here is related to finances for you and you'll know if that's the case. It doesn't have to be, but there is a connection here for some. So allow the angels, God, source, energy, spirit to sweep your worries, your anxieties and fears about money away. He will replace them with the rich emotions associated with abundance. Financial pressures are about to ease. So that's really nice. Now that may be what the message is here as well, because it's right, right above financial assistance. So there might be a message of financial assistance, financial guidance, um, something to do with your finances or perhaps related to your, how you make your income. There's a message associated to that for some. So let's take a look at this deck of cards for Gemini. Guidance for Gemini. Okay, this one here is yours. Let's take a look. There is a union happening this week. You have seen and unseen allies. Beautiful energy. Very much connected into here the angelic and the divine energies that surround you. So you do have unseen allies as well as people that are around you that want to support you, want to help you in some way. Do not be afraid to reach out for help or assistance if needed this week. Draw upon their strength, whether it's spiritual strength, spiritual beings, or whether it's someone in your life. Draw upon their strengths. Join forces with friends and flourish. Union also can mean a contract, an agreement, something that a handshake, something that you're coming together with someone on. And this may be to do with work, finances, maybe to do with bringing more joy and pleasure into your life. It may be linked in here to something else. You'll know what spirit is talking about here for you if this resonates, if it is in fact a message for you. It is a beautiful message though. Guidance for Gemini. Okay, let's take a look here at this card. The three of acorns, foresight and exploration. You're going to have some inner vision, some psychic insights that occur this week, Gemini. Listen to them. They are on point. They're not going to lead you astray. You're going to explore new territories, so you might be starting something new, a new job, work environment, a new hobby or interest. You may be joining a club or social event. There may be a new relationship that you're looking to explore, whether it's romantic or otherwise. So there is exploration in your life this week, which I feel is quite exciting. Let's take a look at your next card. And this is your card of the tarot gemini so this is a great energy of empowerment around you this week you may also be dealing with or have in your life in a significant way another gemini and we have love so love of course can mean romantic love but it doesn't have to be you're vibrating at this level which is beautiful you do have choices and you must trust. You must trust another. There will, will be an important decision or choice that you make this week where you are trusting in others to pull through for you or trusting in others in some kind of way. I'm also seeing here the energy of two, which is union. So contract agreement, love relationship, a union between two parties is happening this week. The Queen of Shells. We have peace and compassion. So this is you being quite 
centered and grounded in your emotions, even if people around you are quite chaotic. If you have toxic people in your life, you're going to be away from them. You're staying away from them, at least energetically. They're not intermingling with your energy and there's problems there. I'm not seeing that. So peace and harmony will come to your life in your mind and in your heart. A beautiful energy of compassion as well. High vibrational energy that you're going to be feeling in your heart towards someone or someone will hold this toward you. So beautiful. Let's take a look at your next card, the shaman energy, which is the hierophant, which often does mean that there is someone in authority or an institution, a company, perhaps a boss, a manager, um, someone in authority that's working with you, um, working with you or in your life in some significant way. And the shaman aspect of it, of course, is quite spiritual. So what's it, whatever is happening in your life at the moment to do with authority, this may be you, an authority over someone or helping with someone. It could be your job, for example. This is also the teacher energy. You might be a teacher or find yourself in some kind of training. This is a very spiritual card. So divine wisdom is going to have the opportunity to fall upon you this week. Uh, where you'll just know things, you'll have deep intuitions and just know things and spiritual power, meaning you can elevate yourself spiritually in connection into the divine stronger than ever before. So an opening, a door's opening for you spiritually if you want to take it this week. We have the Ace of Acorns. So we have the Ram here. You may have an Aries on your mind or a fire sign. Creative force and confidence, moving forward with confidence and not shying away from challenges or things that are perplexing. Go ahead, be confident, speak up, say what you need to. And I feel creative, a creative force, your own creative force, your own, um, your own creative powers are going to be important in some way this week. You might be starting some creative project. It might be to do with work. It might be coming up with a creative solution in a relationship. You'll have to see where that energy fits in your life. But some kind of creative force here. I'm also getting a strong sense of learning because we do have the Hierophant, the Shaman energy. And so you being quite creative in some kind of learning is also coming through and I do if you and I do feel that if you're in a learning situation um, the person that is teaching you um, someone who is watching you they're going to be blown away by uh, your enthusiasm your dedication your confidence and how you present so that's an interesting and beautiful energy so Gemini, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. If you did enjoy the reading, you can click the like button, subscribe if you would like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. Thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. Thank you so much. I really love and appreciate you all so very, very much. Have a wonderful week, Gemini, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.